Welcome to Blade HQ, everybody. Today is May 22nd, 2023, and the most anticipated knife of the last two years has finally arrived. Let's talk about it. First knife on the table is the Manticore from Heretic in the Predator variety. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I have never seen the Predator, so I'm sure these symbols all mean something to you Arnold Schwarzenegger fans. It even comes with this very interesting bead. Definitely has a vibe to it. I've never seen the movie. I've only seen one Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Y'all roasted me around Christmas, so I went and watched Jingle All The Way. Solid movie. Probably the best Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Anyway, those are going for $6.50 right now, and I mean, it's a heretic manticore. If you haven't seen these, check them out. They're some of the best OTFs out there. I especially love these knurled slides. It's got a magna cut blade with a DLC finish in the Tanto. It's great. I'm sure the Governator would love it too. He probably has one. Um, next up, we have the QSP Swordfish. And this is our budget knife on the table. I apologize, they have a bit of a bougie week this week. The Swordfish is their first button lock flipper that I have held. They might've had some others, I'm not sure. But this one definitely reminds me of their Penguin model, but it's quite a bit bigger. Fills out the hand very nicely and a nice long blade made of 14C28N, so a nice tough stainless steel that can handle it all. Good deep carry pocket clip as well, and a very, fidgety button lock action. Definitely joining the button lock flipper craze. Not a lot of bad things to say about this guy. Great knife, great action, and great price. These are going for $69.20 at bladehq.com. It comes in a few different colorways. I grabbed the black and the red because I'm still on a Star Wars hangover from a couple weeks ago. Next up, new from Mora Knives, and definitely a departure from their normal repertoire, we have the Mora Knives Wit. So, for those of you bushcrafters out there, you know Mora is very reputed for a couple of things. One, great quality knives. Two, excellent, excellent budget pricing. Like, almost ridiculously good pricing for the quality you're getting. And this one is sort of a departure from that. You're still getting that quality you love, but they up the materials a little bit. You're getting these nice ash handles and this 12C27 blade with a true Scandi grind and a nice sharpened spine and a leather sheath, and this one feels more like the traditional Pucos we've all come to know and love. And that that wood handle and sort of this more refined finishing comes at a price. These are going for 250, but this is definitely in the high-end bushcraft knives market. If you are a long-standing bushcrafter, you've been in the market for a good while, you've gotten really good at making feather sticks and batoning logs and building shelters and buck saws and whatever else you bushcrafters are up to these days, this is a great knife for you if you are looking to upgrade your Mora without losing the feel and sense of quality and simplicity that comes with a Mora knife. This is but one of a series that have these ash handles. So you want something a bit smaller, you want something more cleavery, there's options in this series. So check out the new Mora knives at Blade HQ. Next up, we have a couple of new exclusives from Fox Knives that are, I just think, gorgeous. They have these burgundy micarta handles. This one's the Yaru. And then if you want a little bit smaller, you can get the Suru. And the Suru actually won Knife of the Year a few years ago at Blade Show, so. It's a very good quality knife, designed by Jesper Foxnet, is made by Fox Knives in Italy. And these ones have M398 blades, these burgundy micarta handles, and I really like these burgundy leather pocket slips too. So I'll tell you right now, this is designed to fit the knife. It definitely looks the same size and, and feel of the knife. You can slip the knife in there, but Leather and micarta definitely have something in common. They both patina really nicely, darken over time. So I'll tell you what I'd do. I would carry this just straight up in my pocket, and then I would probably put my pen or something else in here. And that is a really great foundation for an everyday carry kit that uses a, a color that you don't see too much of, but I really want to see a lot more of because I just love that burgundy color. It just, it pops. It's like a purple, but a bit of a subdued purple, so. I'm in love. I don't know if y'all are liking that because I don't know, I haven't asked you. I'll ask you now. Do you like this burgundy thing? Do you wanna see more of that? I personally do. If I'm weird and crazy, tell me that in the comments, but I think it's gonna be great. Check these out. The, the Suru is the smaller one. This one goes for 210 and the Yaru goes for 220. Next up, we have the Topps Knives El Pionero, Pionero, however you say that. And this one is one of the most anticipated knives for me from SHOT Show. I remember holding this at their booth and I'm like, that is an interesting knife. And they talked about how the designer of it is, uh, is an edged combat trainer who used to be part of Mexican law enforcement, fighting the cartels. 
and also has trained some American people as well. And he sort of designed this knife based off of the traditional paring knife that you see. In fact, one of the things is he'll stop at the store, grab a paring knife and a few lemons. Like, nobody suspects a thing, but I have a great knife that's a self-defense knife too. And he just carries that all the time. And he learned that from his grandmother, who would always tuck one in her dress when she walked around. And he sort of took that iconic paring knife design and built a self-defense knife out of it that's great in every grip. Forward, backward, reverse. I don't know how you want to do it. I love this finger notch here. You get in there, that's like the most comfortable edge toward you reverse grip I've ever held. I've never been in a knife fight and I really hope to never be in a knife fight because I have no idea what I'm doing in such a thing. But I have held a lot of fighting knives and this might be the most comfortable handle of them all. And then, I mean, it's based off of a paring knife, so I, I know it's a good paring knife. It's got a nice thin blade, a very nice sharp edge. It'll slice lemons and limes and all your foods all day long. So if you're looking for a knife that will really run the gamut of everyday carry tasks all the way into that tactical role, the El Pionero might just be the one for you. And I think the story behind it's really great and it's got a cool designer. It's just a lovely knife all around and it goes for $149.95 right now. USA made also, like all Tops knives. And then lastly, what you've all been waiting for, the Benchmade Immunity. This is the full immunity with the longer blade and it's the manual version. And we just got our first shipment and our fulfilling pre-orders. These were announced at SHOT Show 2022, so a year and change ago. And they were so anticipated. It's got a really nice action, axis lock like you've come to know and love, a CPM M4 blade, this aluminum handle, that is like a three finger and a fourth if you hang it around. It's got a fun little lanyard here. And this thing just feels like a hard use utility knife, but it might be the smallest knife I've ever held that feels that way. And I am in love. And as are a lot of you, I've seen the pre-order numbers. You guys are into this. So we'll see if we have any left over after the drop from last Thursday, but my goodness, has this been an anticipated knife? And I'll tell you, for those of you who haven't held it, it is everything you wanted it to be in more. It's a smooth action. It is easy to actuate with one hand. Small, easy in the pocket, but so nice in the hand too. I think this is gonna be one of the best Benchmade knives to date. And I'm very excited to see it here. And these are going for, and these are going for 270 right now. So if, you, if they're still in stock, grab them fast because they won't be for long, but they are here. And we'll probably be getting more shipments in the future. And hopefully soon it becomes as endemic as the bug out. It's here, you can get it whenever you want. And Man, I'm so excited. Benchmade is killing it with the designs lately. Anyway, that's all the knives we have for today. You can find links to all of them in the description. Head over to Blade HQ and shop all these and more in the new arrivals section. And we'll see you guys on the next one.